Oh, another one. This one is really nice. I like, I'm a big fan of Adobe Audition, as you know. So let's go back to this project. Let us pretend that um, Dr. Surf is a fully edited project and we're ready to do the sound mix. We can do the mix inside Premiere, but Premiere's mixer is essentially a clip mixer. It's not a track mixer, and we don't have access to all the wonderful tools we have inside Audition. But we could send the, the project over before. That has been around for a long time, but then we'd have to do a separate export of the video and compress the video, and now it's all really easy. Select the project, go up to Edit, Go down to Edit in Adobe Audition and select Sequence. Notice we're giving it a name. We'll call it Morph Cut. There used to be four choices here where we would have to create a video, but we don't have to do that anymore. That's done automatically. We're going to send the entire sequence. We're going to send it through Dynamic Link. What Dynamic Link means is that we no longer need to render the video, export the video, generate the video. It's Audition is going to work with the exact same video files that Premiere is. It's going to treat it as though it's editing the video in Premiere. And now when I click OK, watch what happens. It automatically says, do we want to do it? I did it before, so I'm getting rid of it. It, it exports the file. It starts Audition. It loads the audio into Audition, and it's automatically got the video file as a single piece of video. We don't even see the clips up here. And we can now do our mixing until we are happy. And then to send our file back to Premiere, we go up to Multitrack, go down to Export to Adobe Premiere Pro. We can then decide that we want to export each track as a stem. We can mix the entire project down to a mono file, a stereo file, or a surround file, or all three. Have it automatically open Premiere and say, where do we want to place the audio file? This round tripping between Premiere and Audition is smoother than it has ever been. And what Adobe has done is take the hardest part of the process, which is creating the standalone video file and making sure it's synced to audio. That's now automatic, dynamic link, no rendering, no exporting, just click. Really smooth. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for webinar 164. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.